Fahad says, folding clothes in the prayer, is this like, is it disliked act or prohibited? What is the difference between disliked act or prohibited? Makruh and haram. So makruh is what a person does and he's not sinful. But if he abandons it for the sake of Allah, he's rewarded. And likewise, muharram or haram, if a person does it, he's sinful. But if he leaves it for the sake of Allah, he's rewarded. So he's asking now, folding the clothes for prayer. Is this considered to be disliked or prohibited? The jurors differed because in essence, as the scholars of Usul al-Fiqh say, that whenever a prohibition is stated, then this is by default something that is sinful, unless other evidences from the Quran or the Sunnah would demote it into makru. So for example, when the Prophet والسلام, prohibits us from drinking while standing up, there is a prohibition, there is a hadith. So what is the ruling on that? The default is the prohibition, do not drink standing up, means that it is prohibited. And you're sinful if you do it. Now this prohibition was actually, let's start from the bottom. This prohibition was promoted and made less in severity into makruh, and some say into even permissible, when the Prophet himself, alayhi salatu wasalam, as in Sahih al-Bukhari, drank zamzam water while standing up. So now we have two sort of conflicting evidences. Don't drink standing up, and he drank standing up. So let's see what the companions say. We go also in Sahih al-Bukhari and find that Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, the fourth caliph, the cousin of the Prophet and the son-in-law of the Prophet the husband of Fatima. He says, I don't care whether I drink standing up or sitting down. For I had seen the Prophet drink standing up. So what does that tell us? It tells us that drinking standing up is not haram. However, it is definitely more rewarding to, st to drink sitting down due to the prohibition in the beginning not to drink standing up. So likewise, when we come to the hadith that do not fold your clothes when you want to pray, the default is this is an instruction, an order not to do something, which mean it is prohibited and sinful unless proven otherwise. Do we have any proof? Technically speaking, no. However, the majority of scholars say that this is not sinful, rather it is makru. Where did they get this understanding from? Do they have any evidences? The answer is no, but the jurors tend to demote or promote a ruling if they could not find the reason or the justification for it. So they say that, ah, oh, this is something that is related to nothing of halal and haram. Rather, it is humanly better. Where did you get this from? I don't know. It sounded good. So they say, yeah, it sounds good. Okay, you agree, yeah, agree, you agree, agree. So the majority say, for example, eating with your left hand is makruh. What? 
hadith is crystal clear. Yeah, it is crystal clear, but we don't know the point to make it haram. So we say that it is makruh. And sometimes by them saying makruh, like in the Hanafi school of thought, they have two types of makruh. Makruh, not recommended, and makruh, prohibited. They call it karahatul tahrim or karahatul tanzi. And this is something that a student of knowledge has to be careful when studying so that he would learn the terminology used by the jurors of a particular school of thought in, uh, before jumping to conclusions. So the default is the hadith is crystal clear. It is prohibited to fold your clothes when you pray. So part of the folding of the clothes is this. If I am doing this, and just before prayer, I do this, this is folding. I should not do that and pray like that. Folding your sleeves, I should not do that. One says, okay, Sheikh, what about if I have my pants below my ankles? I say, Achi, 24 seven, you're sinful, whether you're praying or not. But due to the fact that prayer, one has to do the level best not to be in a state of sin, we tell you, you've, you've got to fold this because it's the lesser of the two evils. And Allah Azza knows best.